20 years ago, the two cell AA mini mag light was the EDC flashlight. I found this blue mini mag light when I was cleaning my garage and it brought back some memories. Playing with it made me realize how far flashlight technology has come. With its incandescent bulb, it puts out a minuscule amount of light. I wanted to see if we could upgrade it to compete with some of the newest lights. The easiest way to upgrade one of these is to buy an actual LED replacement bulb should dramatically increase its brightness and runtime. They can be gotten on Amazon for around $10. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane and talk about the original Mini Mag Light. This was the first product that I remember being advertised using aircraft grade aluminum. It's made in America and California. It has an adjustable beam that adjusts from a flood all the way down to a spotlight. It could also be used as a torch if you took the cap off. You can sit it in the cap and make it into a torch. It has a very warm Xeon bulb that outputs about 15 lumens. The bulbs were fragile and in the cap of every mag light was an additional bulb. The replacement bulbs were required because the bulbs in the light were very fragile. Dropping the light or touching the bulb and getting your uh, getting it dirty could cause it to burn out early and so having a spare was definitely a requirement. Replacement bulbs were available just about everywhere and cost under ten dollars for a pair of two. So if we compare the output of this light so this would be five lumens but as soon as you jump this up to its highest setting, you'll see it outshines the mag light by a large margin. So let's go ahead and upgrade this light and see how much additional brightness we can get from it. Again, it's important not to touch the bulb to not burn it out. The LED bulbs do have a polarity. So if it doesn't work the first time you put it in, you may have to flip it around. All right, we still have the ability to change it from a spotlight or a flood, but as you'll see, it is already much, much brighter and has a much cooler light now, but it is definitely outshining the I-1R and the output should be similar to about 90 to 100 lumens with this new bulb. As you can see, the light is definitely much brighter with the LED bulb. The runtime also increases to about six hours from four hours. If you're looking to upgrade your old mini mag light, take a look at the link in the description for the bulb that I used. What are your best memories of a mini mag light? Leave them below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to see how far flashlight technology has come in the last 20 years, please watch my flashlight playlist here.